All right, it's February 23rd. We're in Rockwell, North Carolina, along Highway 52. We just drove in from Granite Quarry where we checked that town out. Now we're gonna walk through Rockwell. Looks like they got a little bit better town center than Granite Falls did. Got some old buildings here to look at. So we're gonna walk through, check them out, see what they have to offer. Rockwell was named for a rock well that was at a camp not far from here. And people on the way through to South Carolina to get salt would camp there and get water out of that well. It's supposed to be great well water at the time. I guess a lot of wells were lined with wood or something like that and gave it a wood taste, but rock well seemed to be the one everybody wanted to get water from on their way. Accounts of the area have great big oak trees and it's really beautiful. Probably mowed over by housing development or something now. Anyway, let's look at these old buildings. This place is not open, but it's a computer service store. Infotech resources is empty, so right off the bat, we're seeing empty businesses here. That's not good. I don't know if that was because of uh, the economy in general, or maybe. 2020 in general, who knows? Well, the sidewalks have been lined with brick and been updated. You know, they're dirty, but they've been updated recently. Got an insurance company here. Got some cool looking old cars in this place. Long for the days buying and selling autos and memorabilia. Now, this looks like a nice place to visit. Look at these old. Coca-Cola machine right there. He's like to have to use that dishwasher. Sky Chief. I remember these old Coca-Cola machines. I like getting drinks out of there in eight ounce bottles. Man, they were cold, it'd be so good. Old tricycle. Western Flyer. And a swing. This is the town hall right here. I guess that's that Rockwell I was telling you about. Might come in there and get a good old drink of well water. There's the other side of the street there. Just pan back. That's a look from the direction I came. Marvies to the left down there in the Ace Hardware parking lot. I've crossed the street now. I'm standing in front of the historic Rockwell Museum. Nice building that's in. Looks like it's been here a while. It's closed today. Let's look in their window right there. Let's see what they got up here. Some old news articles and things. Talking about the influenza pandemic back in the day. Uh oh, mask. Looks like they got a nice parade here. Check those. Looks like people walking around today, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a look back out at the other side of the town. That's where I was standing at before I crossed. Some businesses look open, some don't. Russell's Unique Deals is open over there. Probably be a great place to go in and shop. Got a little education center of some type right there in that old building. Let's look back at that water tower again. All right, let's keep going up. To the right, they've created a nice little sitting park. Yeah, that Russell's looks, looks like it's got a lot of stuff inside. So yeah, if you're in town, you probably want to go and check them out. The building's been made into a church, it looks like. Got a little memorial here or something. Let's see what this says. 
Yeah, okay. Now, I love to show these more memorials in memory of all American veterans. This memorial honors all American veterans who, are, although separately by generation, shared a common undeniable goal to violently protect our countries and freedom. The memories of these American veterans will continue to live on whenever and wherever democracy, democracy exists. See, that's a nice, nice memorial for those guys. They did a good job with that. So this is their little park they made to go along with it. Right outside the museum there. So yeah, that looks good. Pan around. Got a bank off to the right there. Let's cross over right here. Historic sign for Stone Church, two and a half miles south of here. Might be something you, people might want to check into if they're into architecture. Check the old gas station out over there. I really like the way the old gas stations look. I mean, we used to pull in those, those old gas stations. A little bell would ring and the tenant would come out and give you full service. Most of the people would have known who owned it and been very close to them, I imagine. Here's another old church. United Church of Christ right now this time. It may have been something different before, I don't know. Yeah, they did a good job on that building. There's another building across the way. It's like a photography shop in there, dance studios. A little building. There's a look back. I believe where we just crossed was the original part of the town. And it Actually, this gas station would have been going out of town at the time, I imagine. And so, I think you go down to this corner. Well, there's another church on the other side there. A lot of churches here in the south. There's a restaurant there on the corner, but I'm not going to walk all the way down. Big old house past it. If you turn left there, that goes back toward China Grove. North Carolina, we did a video there. Looks like some trophies for their dance competition over there. But yeah, small little town along Highway 52 here. Noisy because of this road traffic. This is a road that's used a lot. There's a, find a lot of trucks coming up and down through here. But it's close to Charlotte, North Carolina, close to Salisbury. I believe it has potential to expand here in the coming years. There's more and more people moving to this area, so if you can stand the noise of all the trucks coming through, come give it, come check it out. Rockwell, North Carolina. Y'all take care.